Here's the frog to this uh, number 814 Miller's Falls jack plane. This is the same size dimensions and shape as a Stanley number 5. I thought I'd do a quick video on the frog because it was a project in and of itself. When I first got the plane, the only part of the frog that didn't have paint on it was the bottom of these two toes or feet, whatever you call them. And you can still see some of the scratches on it despite my sanding technique. I think the paint had been removed with something like a woodworker's rasp. I had to flatten this entire face. The frog itself wasn't square, so I had to spend some time to square it up. And then I had to spend time to get it to sit against the seat on the plane so that it didn't rock. And here's just a quick video to outline some of the fun that I had. Hope you enjoy. Some of the silver spray seems to come off with just a little light rubbing with steel wool. Since there are no machine marks on this, I'm not going to be too careful on how I try to lap it. Just right now trying to figure out how flat it is. After fiddling with it, I discovered that the frog wasn't very square at all. It's still not perfect, but it's pretty close. This side of it was much longer than this side. So I took the time to grind it away very carefully. I'm assuming this is a 45 degree angle, so I built this jig here to help guide me for a good honest honing. And I took some time to try to get this flat and um, now the frog seems to fit very well on the surfaces it's supposed to mate to. The japanning on the frog is actually pretty good. Probably north of 90%. I'm just going to touch it up with a little bit of the oil Sharpie pen. There was a lot of slop between the pin and the bushing that sits in the middle of the yoke. And I've been fiddling a little bit with how to address that issue. Any slop that's in here is just going to add more play to the adjustment knob as you try to go from plunging the blade deeper to pulling it back out. So if we can get this reasonably snug, that will just make the plane perform a little better. I tried using aluminum foil. Common stuff out of the kitchen is about a half of a thousandth of an inch thick. So I got uh, the lid to one of these aluminum foil trays. And this aluminum is about three one thousandths of an inch thick. And then I curled it into a little cylinder. This one is about one complete cylinder. That wasn't quite enough. The one that's in there is about two turns. Aluminum isn't the most durable material, but this is hardly a high wear item. I mean, this thing pivots the tiniest amount and uh, not very much during normal planing. So hopefully it'll last a while. There was also play side to side in the opening where the yoke goes and I'm going to try to compensate for that with these two washers so I'm going to try to make a little bit of a sandwich and try to get it in here and get the pin down through while keeping the washers in place and without uh, destroying this aluminum bushing that's inside of the brass bushing. I put a coat of WD-40 on everything and then wiped it off and then I put a coat of wax on everything and wiped it off. Well, here it is assembled, and uh, I'm actually surprised that it worked. Um, the aluminum bushing is acting as a sleeve in there, taking a play, and these two washers have filled up the slop from left to right, and, uh, you know, it's not bad at all. So there's the lateral adjuster back on. I just peened it over. And the height adjustment knob spins really nicely. And here's a view of the lateral adjustment as it operates. 
and you can see that the yoke here doesn't have to move. So here it is assembled and it's working well. Here's a couple shavings of a piece of mahogany that I did. So it's working very well. One lesson I've learned is I think these castings were done well but not finished uh, particularly precisely. And the frog has a lot of slop between itself and how it seats on the body. So there's a little bit more fiddling to get it to sit uh, just right. But of course, once you get it to sit right, it's not something that you have to muck with very often. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you got something out of it. Thanks for stopping by my shop, and I look forward to uh, seeing you all in the next one.